recorded. Okay, so uh, stdlibfacilities.h. I mentioned to you that uh, when you want to use something, and trust me, see out is a very popular item because it just identifies console output window. Everybody needs that, right? But you need to know specific uh, header file to include to bring it in. You can always Google it and so forth, but you need to eventually you probably start remembering it. Uh, uh, in the book, in the textbook, uh, there is a, a standard, uh, lib uh, standard library facilities header file, which we will try to use right now. And on our, in our handout, I provide you a direct link to it. Okay, so the book provides a, a header file which includes all of the standard library facilities needed by this course. So you don't have to remember include IRStream or include uh, S, uh, STDlib or some other, you know, whatever um, file uh, system header files. It just brings everything into the picture. Okay. So, and because the book has many exercises just using STDLib facilities, let's just test things and make sure that everything works. Okay, so in this uh, section 7 of our, of our handout for today, uh, we have standard library access header, which I link directly to the book uh, webpage, which has the supporting webpage. Of course, I'm not uh, spending too much time navigating to every link we have, but here it is. You can see that it just opens as a as a bunch of code okay so what I'm going to do is um, I'm going instead of opening opening it like this I am in fact going to right click and say uh, save target as right so save this uh, header file as a file which gives me a chance to see you know see what I have here and uh, so I'm going to navigate to to, um, uh, to our uh, location of our project, which is under C155 projects, which is under here. And uh, remember, I use the source file, uh, source uh, subfolder uh, to place our main CPP. And so I double click. And so this is my entire path right here. Right, so this is my entire path, and this is where I say, okay, save uh, stdlib facilities here. Just go ahead and save it. Okay, so it gets downloaded. I say close, and this time instead of opening IO stream, okay, what I will be opening is this. I just copied from our handout to demonstrate that I can copy and paste, right? And uh, let me just make some adjustments here and. Uh, here, uh, replace specific standard library header with double quotes and the name of the header file, which I would like to include. Okay. Well, first things uh, first, after making this change, I just want to make sure that everything continues to work properly, right? So I say uh, build and build solution. I always make build as a separate step. You can always say run, and by default, Visual Studio will automatically start the build, uh, but I would like to have a clean build before I try to run my program. That's why I, I have a habit of having build as a separate step. And then say debug, uh, start without debugging, which means just run this program. You can see that it successfully prints hello as before. So my change, oops, uh, my change from IO stream to uh, STDlib facilities worked just fine, and my download also worked fine. So you make sure that it works uh, properly, and it's very important that you download this file, stdlibfacilities.h, which is the header file that you download it in the same location as my main.cpp. By the way, if you're curious, where is my file? When you open it from within your project, you can always say right click on the tab, okay? And say copy full path, you see? Now I can go to the top of my file, uh, make a single line comment. Uh, recall I told you this is multi-line comment. 
This is a single line comment which starts with two forward slashes and runs till the end of the line and paste what I just copied. Okay, let me make adjustments to make everything visible, right? You see that this is a sure way for me to locate my file. Just simply uh, go to here and right click and say uh, copy full path and uh, this uh, brings it in. So when you download SCD Lit facilities, make sure that you load it exactly into the place where the main file is located or main.cpp because when you use uh, uh, double quotes with your include preprocessor directive. When you use double quotes, it starts looking for this file in the same directory where this file main CPP is located. In our, in our case, it finds it very successfully. If it was located somewhere, you can start using relative paths. Originally, what I did was I said include io stream right i did i did this notice the difference here we used what is called angle brackets right two angle brackets as opposed to quotes but both are processed by the same preprocessor include uh, directive so what's going on whenever you start using angle brackets compiler which processes this source file starts looking in the standard library components installed with the compiler okay when we use double quotes the preprocessor begins to look for the corresponding file in the same directory where this file is located so same thing but you know a slightly different syntax so just make no mistake that you know if we do this it's a mistake. We probably, you know, this file doesn't exist somewhere in the standard library. So this is uh, is not this is not the right thing to do. So anyway, uh, better use a double quotes like I did here. All right. So if you have multiple includes, um, uh, typically they should be located at the top of the file so that they're all included before you know our source file continues to. Uh, you know, continues to specify what our program does. Okay, so let's um, uh, summarize all of this.